hey guys my name is jackie at all things by jackie if you are new don't forget to subscribe and for the returning thank you so much for, for always tuning in uh this video is just going to be a quick update about my life where we are and what we do or what we are doing on this channel and everything like that as you guys can see i came bare face had no time for makeup i slept woke up i'm like you know what let me just make a quick sit down video because i've been planning on to, i've been planning to do this and makeup has been stopping me because i'm i've been busy because of the whole relocation process and everything um for those who knows they know that i relocated to canada with my family uh as permanent resident and for those who doesn't know now you know now you do now you join the team yeah october 27th that's what we, that's when we came here uh a quick story about that um passport stamped september 7th and sent back to namibia we got the passport september was it september yeah it was september 19th i believe so september 19th was yeah and then bought tickets started packing and everything bought our tickets and october 27th we saw ourselves at Pisa International Airport, Toronto. And then here we are in Fort McNary, Alberta. So that's where we are going to be vlogging and doing all the do's. I'll be taking you guys wherever I go. As like just the usual things to do when we are vlogging, right? I'm going to the mall. I'm going to see the doctor. I woke up in the morning washing my face. And that day I'm not doing anything. I'm just in the house, wash my face, cook, and that's, that's it. And I feel like I want to vlog about that. That's what you guys will see. If I go out, I go out. Yeah, that's what it is. And more, we are going to be talking about um, throughout this channel. I'll be adding, I never spoke about Im immigration, except the fact that I got deported. That's the only part I ever spoke about immigration throughout my, ch my channel. But from here onwards, uh, from time to time, I'll come up with some immigration tips, some... Uh, Immigration updates. If I see something about immigration, I can bring it up to you guys. Even if it's just for two minutes or three minutes, whatever it is, I'll bring it up to you guys and you guys can decide if you want to take it or if you don't want. Um, what else? Another thing is I'll be sharing my journey with you on how we got here. <clears throat> this journey wasn't a one, two, three journey as you guys can see because you guys only saw the part that... Um, our passport was stamped i was excited we got permanent resident and that's basically that's it right but you never you don't know about the whole situation of how we got here so i'll also be addressing up I'll, um, I'll also be addressing that so i'll talk about it in a separate video the whole process but just so guys you know we came back to canada with permanent resident through humanitarian and compassionate ground that is an application that you make inbound you make it within canada um <clears throat> i'm not sure if you can do it from outside i'll make research and everything i'm not a consultant guys i'm not a consultant i'm just a woman grown-up woman who went through the process and have experience and would like to share with you guys Whoever takes the advice takes, whoever doesn't, doesn't. And I don't really have a lot of answers to many questions that people ask. I've been asked how to relocate here, how to do what. And this is the reason why I decided that I want to start uh, update, updating you guys about immigration things. Because I've been getting these questions a lot. And also, it's going to improve my skills as I want to study immigration. I want to do immigration. So me... Being on top of my game, doing research on immigration and everything is going to help me improve my skills on immigration. I want to I wanna enroll for the false intake, which is studying Jan. So it's going to be, it's going to keep me in the field that I want. It's the kind of field that I want. So me being on the game is going to help me improve my skills and learn more about immigration. While I'm helping you guys, if you want the information, only if you want, like, you know, like I say. <clears throat> uh what else so my process was a five years we applied for humanitarian on to be specific it was i think i might drop it on the screen somewhere here it, they received our application june 6 2018 guys june 6 2018 
right now we are in 2022 so do your math 18 19 20 21 22 a whole four years process and a couple of months basically it's almost yeah four years and june july august september october four months four years four months process for us to get here so when you want to do this don't think it's going to happen tomorrow just know that it's going to be a process and it's going to take time and there are a lot of ways you guys can come here like there are a lot of ways it doesn't have to be the humanitarian it's just that um as my people we limit ourselves to something that we see if we see somebody going to canada with humanitarian we think that is the only option but there are a lot of ways out there like there are a lot of ways out there which i won't be talking about in this video <clears throat> i'll make separate videos on them but yes for this one it was just an update to let you guys know of where we are and how and everything but how we came here we came with humanitarian and compassionate ground for those asking i've been getting this a lot like how did you go how did you go how did we go how can we go how can we like that question comes a lot in my dms it comes a lot in my comment sections and yeah but there are a lot of ways to kill a cat it isn't only one way and there isn't a right way for for, for everything like there's many ways and it isn't always that one way which is right there, there could be many ways this one was the right way for me and my family and for somebody else like we came a lot of us um we came here as refugees there were people who got their papers as refugees there were people that get got papers through um what do you call it sponsorship there are us who got deported and a lot of people didn't make it back here like i could say i'm not i don't want to say my family is the first to come back with hnc um there's another couple that i know but wifey stayed behind and has by went home and they came back i don't want to talk about their business it's none of my business but i'm just saying but in our scenario where we both went back home and come back uh, it's kind of uh because even when this got when our application got approved i informed our lawyer that um our application was it was approved but guess what? Our lawyer was like, uh, yeah, your application is approved, but you being in Namibia, I don't think this is going to work because this is an inbound application. One of you is supposed to be in Canada for this application to work. Now you are both outside the countries. Beside the fact that uh, the kids are Canadian, you guys may not be able to come back. And then I say, you know what? You are not God. And God said, yes. So we are going to do the do's anyway. So I communicated to the immigration and long story short, here we are. More information about that coming up in the upcoming videos. Mm. Papa, I'm, I'm making a video. Okay. What do you want to do? Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to do a video with you. Okay, come sit here. Apparently, he want to make a video with me. So long story short, here we are. I'll be making another video about the whole journey here. I was planning on doing it with Hasbai, but Hasbai is forever not here because he's busy doing other stuff. So I cannot get him here. And from, if I keep saying that I'm waiting for him to make the video, it means that I'll never make the video. So I'll just come up here and make the video so that you guys can know the whole process, my whole process. So yeah. That's what it is. That was my update. We are vlogging. We are talking about immigration. We are talking about other stuff. Mm -hmm. Giving each other advice. Learning from each other. I'm, I'm happy to learn from you guys. If you guys want to, <clears throat> to teach me or to tell me what to talk about. Whatever. You can drop it in the comment section below. You can DM me and go like, Jackie, can you talk about this? I would be happy to do it. Um. Yeah. So, but for now. Thank you so much for tuning in and my boy is running. Boo -boo, are you happy to be here? Uh -huh. Do you love Canada? Yes. What makes you happy? Huh? What makes you happy in Canada? Uh, swimming pool. Swimming pool. Uh -huh. That's it. You love the swimming pool. Uh -huh. But it's, it's winter. But you guys, it's uh -huh. winter time and he loves the swimming pool. He want to go swimming almost every day. Mommy and, and, and I want to go swimming and ice skating.
You want to go ice skating? Mm. So tell that you want to go ice skating, then we can go ice skating. Maybe we can go to bump sometimes. Okay. Now we can find a place to go for ice. Do you even know how to skate? You don't yeah. know. You don't know. How do you know how to skate? You don't know. <coughs> I do Cover know. your mouth. <coughs> <coughs> Mm -hmm. I do know. You do know how to skate? Hello. You know? Okay. Mm -hmm. Guys, that's it from us. Skate. That's it from us. This is my boy. So, uh, thank you so much for tuning in. I'm coming up with the next video. Stating, explaining everything. My whole process, how I came back. Like, the next one is going to be... This one was just an update. So, the next one is going to be about everything. Yeah. Thank you. Bye now. So I need to Because that is you. Huh? Uh, bye guys. <laughs>